Well, I've had perfect attendance for 18 years, and it was a sense of pride, and I just wanted to get back to work as soon as I could and just get back into my regular routine. When I uh, first went to a gynecologist, she had said that I wouldn't be a candidate for laparoscopic surgery because that's what I was looking to, to get because I just didn't you know, like the idea of having a full large incision and the recovery time. I also went to a year gynecologist and she said the same thing. When I went to see Dr. Deniliant, she was just very confident that she wouldn't have a problem to be able to perform the whole surgery laparoscopically. Well, she came to us for a second opinion, and she found out that minimally invasive approach is actually possible. She's like many other women who have large fibroids and who are hearing from other doctors that they can only have open surgery, and in fact, it's not correct. One of the big problems was my husband and I, we like to go on walks. I was putting a damper on our walking, uh, you know, the mobility, Brenda, constantly had to go to the bathroom. It was just uncomfortable. When um, I spoke to Dr. Deniliance, I had a whole list of questions that I brought because once you're told that you need to have a hysterectomy, um, your head starts spinning because you just don't know um, all of the different details. She answered every question um, and we couldn't have asked for you know, better results. Now I don't have that pain any longer and it's, it's a different world for me. I just feel so much better and I just have so much more energy and I've lost weight and I've just made a whole new lifestyle change. She's really just a happy person. She's going on vacations, she's enjoying life and this makes me really feel good. You don't have to be the person that has to get the full incision. Um, there are options out there so do your research because there are choices and there are excellent surgeons that do this on a daily basis.